The title race has just finished. Man City are the champions for the second year in a row. Their fourth Premiership title, their fifth in all major championships. Liverpool commiserations to Liverpool. They won 2 0 at Anfield, two goals, a double by Sadio Mane. And unfortunately, they finished with 97 points. That win was all to no avail. But what a fantastic season for Liverpool. Good to see Sterling being at the views. Man City won 4 1 here at um, the Amex Stadium. Goals by Glenn Murray putting Brighton 1 0 up. An immediate equaliser by Sergio Aguero. And then Emirates Laporte puts them 2 1 up. In the second half, a pile driver from Real Mares makes it 3 1. And then with 20 minutes to go, a free kick from Gordigan has made it 4 1. And Man City are champions. What a fantastic um, achievement, winning back to back titles. Got 98 points this season, previously got 100 points. And it just shows that the other teams in the Premiership have a lot of way to go to challenge. Not just Man City, but Liverpool as well, because Liverpool 97 points. Up until um, two years ago, that was a Premiership record, but to all to no avail, because Man City broke the record today, last year, and they've got 98 points. If we look at where the title was won, the title was actually won in January, when Man City and Liverpool had a head-to-head, -head, and Man City won 2-1. Although in the last minute, John Stones clears the ball off the line. Who knows what it could, might have been. Liverpool themselves were, could have gone 10 points clear in January. And you look at Liverpool as well. Away games where they drew 0-0 at Goodison Park against the rivals Everton. <coughs> and 0-0 at Old Trafford against, at, uh, at the time, a very rejuvenated the May United. In other results, the top four has been decided. Chelsea finished third. After a 0 0 draw at Leicester, so they managed to seal Tottenham Hotspur's challenge. Tottenham Hotspur drew 2 2 at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium against Everton. Arsenal miss out the top four, like we all imagine they do. They had an eight goal um, swing against um, Tottenham Hotspur. They managed to um, finish um, 3 1 away to Burnley. Goals by Bamiang, a double in which he shares the golden boot with Sadio Mane and Mohamed Salah with 22 goals each. And Eddie Nketiah has got his first league goal for the Gunners. In other games, Man United have lost again. Two more at home this time. So Cardiff City already relegated. Cardiff City have been relegated already, as we know, with Fulham and Huddersfield. In other games, a major game as well, but a major talking point, was a game at Vicarage Rose where West Ham won 4-1, goals from Mark Noble, was amongst the goal scorers, scoring a double. However, the massive news come out of Vickers Road was the left-back, Jose Hollybass, has been sent off, which means if Watford cannot appeal it, he will miss the FA Cup final, or repeat, he will miss the FA Cup final. So that's a massive talking point. In other games, one of the other games that grabbed my notice was that Newcastle won 4-0, at relegated Fulham, Southampton drew 1 1 at home to Huddersfield. And another result was um, the game at Crystal Palace where Bournemouth lost 5 3 to inform Crystal Palace. Lou Sahar getting the fifth goal, and this could be their final goal. My conclusion to the title is, is that unless um, Tottenham, Arsenal, Chelsea, and May United spend, they're not going to be able to bridge the gap between um, the two top teams, which are Liverpool and Man City. Liverpool can make up their disappointment if they um, win a Champions League final against Tottenham Hotspur, make it their sixth Champions League, and they'll be looking to get some out of the season. Tottenham go into the Champions League final, already qualified for the Champions League. They've already won the full set of European trophies in 63 with the European Cup Winners' Cup in 72 and 84 with the UEFA Cup. So they'll be looking to make it a full set with the Champions League. They go into that game with some very terrible results in the Premiership, but, you know, everything's different. They've got three weeks to prepare. Arsenal played Chelsea in the Europa League final. Chelsea already qualified for the Champions League, as we have mentioned. Arsenal need to win that tournament in order to get into the Champions League. So that's going to be very fantasy. And congratulations to English football. I mean, four teams in the, Euro, in the European finals. 
Aha, VAR must have been very good. But I'm going to say goodbye. Enjoy the rest of your summer. I'll speak to you soon. I'm sure we're going to review the Europa League finals. This is Kenny Ken wishing you farewell. And don't forget to you put your questions in the bottom and ask any questions to any of the team or Pep Talk UK.